Hi, Ingleside. I'm Nolan. And I'm Ruby. Hey, Ruby. Did you know that today is National Vietnam War Veterans Day? The Vietnam War, also known as the Second Indochina War, and in Vietnam as the Resistance War against America, or simply the American War, was an undeclared war in Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia from the 1st of November 1955 to the fall of Saigon on the 30th of April 1975. <laughs> the truth is that our military won the war, but our politicians lost it. The communists in North Vietnam actually signed a peace treaty, effectively surrendering. But the U.S. Congress didn't hold up its end of the bargain. On May 7, 1954, Viet Minh for forces won the Battle of Dien Bien Phu and ended French involvement in Indochina. Second and most importantly, if the communists won in Vietnam, communism could spread throughout Southeast Asia and become a greater threat to the U.S. Really? Did you know that the Vietnam War was from 1955 to 1975? After this quick commercial break, we'll go to weather with Carter. What's up, Ingleside? I'm here with Jenny, and today we will be doing Would You Rather question. So the first question on my list is, would you rather always be 10 minutes late or 10 minutes early? Um, I'd rather be, um, I'd rather be 10 minutes early, probably, so that I'm not late to everything. All right, all right. So, next question. Would you rather lose all your money or all your pictures? All my pictures, because they don't matter to me that much. Yeah, I agree. I don't have a lot of pictures. Yeah. Would you rather be able to see 10 minutes into your future or 10 minutes into someone else's future? Probably my future, because I... I don't know. I want to know my future. Yeah, <laughs> I'd do the other person's future, so then, yeah, I don't know. I'd do theirs. <laughs> All right, um, next question. Would you rather go to jail for four years for something you didn't do or get away with something horrible you did but always live in fear of being caught? Probably. Okay, probably get away but always feel like you're going to be caught because, like, I don't know. I don't want to go to jail. Right. It, well, to me, it depends on what... You too. Hi Ingleside, I'm Carter here with your daily weather. Today in Phoenix we have a high of 86 and a low of 55, a wind speed of 9 miles per hour and a humidity rate of 11%. As you can see here, this is the weather report for the rest of the week except low 80s over the weekend. It is going to be cloudy and get up to 88% or 88 with a low of 57. It is about time to hang up your hoodies. It's getting really hot. A heat wave is coming into Phoenix and it's not gonna, it's gonna hit 90, but watch out. After this week, the heat will be rising even though it will be cloudy next week. It will still be hot. Now back to your anchors. Thanks, Carter. Ingleside, remember that AZ merits start next week. Make sure to study and prepare as much as possible. Good luck. Oh no, AZ Merit's the worst. I know, right? Anyway. After this quick commercial break, commercial about the choir field trip, we will go to James with sports. For Ingleside Sports, we have no track and field today. Yesterday was opening day for the MLB. Today is the first game for your Arizona Diamondbacks. Make sure to support your Arizona team either by watching TV or going to the game. They will be playing the Dodgers. Also, for some other news, Moreno, Moreno, Moreno Rivera throws the first pitch at Yankee Stadium. Although usually first pitch is terrible like this. Marlin riding by in the pickup truck. AJ having a little fun with Billy the Marlin. Just missed with a pitch. You know, I, I think he he didn't have a good release point on this fastball. He missed Mike Redmond. 
But he got Billy the Marlins truck. I don't think he was really thinking about hitting the window. And look at AJ playing the innocent. I'm sorry, Mrs. Wilson. I didn't mean to break your window. I was aiming at the mailbox. <laughs> The choir went to Disneyland over spring break. They did an amazing job singing Disney songs. They were there for three days. Congratulations to all who went. Hey Ruby, did you know that cockroaches can live for several weeks with their heads cut off because their brains are located inside their bodies? They would eventually die from starvation because they'd be unable to eat. Um, ew, and no I did not. Imagine a cockroach walking around the sidewalk with no head. That's so gross. Yeah, it sounds disgusting. Here's a picture of what it might look like. <laughs> anyway, do you think it's uh, time to end the show? Yeah. Hi, Vasti! That's goodbye and finish. <laughs>